Hello there again, everybody. Boyd back with you, and we're here with another update on our 1350 scale Enterprise refit build. We're still working on the upper saucer here, adding some lighting, and we're just doing this uh, one layer at a time like we talked about to keep it easy to understand for everybody out there. So we left off in the last video where we just added our uh, LED strip lights here around the outer edge to get the uh, saucer edge lit up where our window groups are there. We used uh, a couple of 0805 SMDs here in the ceiling of the officer's lounge to light up that area. So we've got that all taken care of. So the next layer of lighting that we're going to be adding today, guys, is the um, perimeter lighting that we see for our navigation lights and also these uh, thruster areas. We have four little kind of thrusters on the edge of the saucer here on the top and the bottom. And then we've got our impulse engines here. So what we're going to be using today is some five millimeter um, yellow LEDs. Now I get these from HGA Model Works. And the reason I'm mentioning that, you guys, you can get yellow uh, five millimeter LEDs anywhere. But I bought uh, these yellow LEDs from a couple different sources. Now the ones that I got from Jerry are more of a amber orange looking yellow than a bright yellow um, and I really like that I think it looks closer to what the thrusters look like on the uh, on the miniature and also at the back for the uh, impulse engine you can see I've got a screenshot here you guys from Star Trek the motion picture just when the Enterprise goes to impulse power when it leaves the uh, space dock and you can see we've clearly got uh, you know an amber orange looking um, impulse engine there. There's also an interesting shot. You can see sort of a close-up of the detail that's in the officer's lounge through the window up there. So check that out sometime. There's some interesting detail in there. But uh, there's a, you know, a lot of uh, people have used red LEDs here for the back for the impulse engines, including the first two refits that I built. But looking at this a little bit closer, you can definitely see these are orange or amber looking. So we're going to be going that route on this one. And um, so I've got these five millimeter LEDs from HDA Model Works, and they're in yellow. And what I've done here, you can see the difference in them. I made up six of them because we've got four of these uh, thruster ports here. And then we're going to have to use one on each side for our uh, exhaust ports on our um, impulse deck. Now, what I've got here, you guys, you can see I've got these yellow LEDs. And the one on the right, you can see what I did is I, I scuffed it all up. I just used some 180 grit sandpaper to make that nice and diffused. And uh, that's the type that I'm going to use for the uh, impulse engines. So I did two of those. You can see I've got those right here. So those will be going back in this area right here. These other ones that we're going to be putting in for the uh, thruster ports here, are I just left them alone because they're sitting up nice and close to that, and you really don't need to do any kind of diffusion. Now, these, these uh, areas where the actual lighting comes out, I'm going to flip this over, and you guys will see I've actually painted this, and we'll show you that a little bit later. But... Um, We've got these nice little spots right here, and you can see that these are on the edge here. They're supposed to be a rectangle shape like I talked about, and we've got a round one on the top. And so this lighting is going to be nice and up close in there, and we don't need to worry about much um, diffusion going on. So what we're going to be doing, you guys, is we're going to be um, putting these in, you know, pretty close to this, like this up underneath of here. And then later on, after I've got all of my paint work done and all the other stuff done on this saucer, I'm going to come in with some solar resin, fill these in at the very end and make little clear lenses in there. So, but we'll show you that uh, detail when we get a little bit farther down the road here and we'll um, show you exactly how we do that. But this is pretty much the plan going forward, you guys, is how this is going to work out. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be just gluing these in place. I'm just using some regular CA glue. I've already got one installed right there. So I'm just, you know, going to these, these spots here. Now I'm just gluing these in. Um, directly over top of the hole that you'll see there where the uh, on the top of the saucer where the actual spot of lights gonna be so I'm putting the LED just directly over the top of that and pulling it back about um, probably about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch away from the actual edge of the saucer here I don't want it to be actually touching on that so that's basically it you guys then just uh, drizzle a little bit of CA glue down in here right over the top of the bulb we don't want it to uh, we don't want it to get into our little lenses or anything there yet. We're going to do that again with some solar res a little bit later on. And we'll just hit that with some kicker. And we'll get each one of these put in place just like that. Now we're going to be tying in. You can see we've got our power line that we brought all, all the way around here the last time. Um, there are lighting kits out there with a control board that you can actually control these thrusters separately. So they can do a flickering effect or you can have them off or on. But I'm just going to tie these in. In this instance, where they're just going to always be on whenever the power is on on the model. So that's going to work out nice and simple. 
And we'll get this one dropped in here. In the same spot. And make sure I stay in camera for you guys. I'm just drizzling a little bit of CA glue right over the whole thing. This is the thick CA. All right. We've got one last one here. I had to, you have to spread the uh, the wires just a little bit to clear that little socket where the uh, lower saucer goes in place. Just like that. All right. So we've got all four of those in place, and you notice how I marked everything here on the saucer so as to not get confused. We've got W for white, which I'm just uh, going to be putting a um, 0805 SMD in each one of these spots. It's marked white. This is the um, bow uh, light that you see at the very front of the fr top of the saucer that blinks. Then we've got two more of those back here. Okay, and then we've got a green and a red. Now, it's important that you mark these guys because what can happen is when you look at the top of the model here, you're saying, okay, port and starboard. We have port's going to be red, starboard's going to be green, right? Well, when you flip this over, it's on the other side. So you can easily get confused when you do that. So what we do is we go ahead and mark this and not to forget that a little bit later on. We're going to be using an 0805 uh, green SMD and an 0805 red SMD over here for our uh, navigation lights, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to warm up my solder iron and we're going to get some wire ready to go here. We're going to go ahead and connect these uh, four LEDs that we just installed. And this will just take a second. As I said, we're going to just, uh, we're going to tie this in right with our existing power that we laid in on the last video. So we just need a little piece of extension wire here. And again, going back to that little tip I showed you guys last time too, is I'm going to solder each one of these connections as, the, as I make them, and that way I don't have to worry about missing one and having a problem later on. Okay, so we'll go back over here. And tie this one in. Just strip the wire off, and we're just going to wrap it around our exposed wire that we have here. All right, I'll go ahead and solder that one up. And now for our negative wire connection. Oh, it's still a little bit warm. It got me there, guys. in place <clears throat> just pushing these back down flat like that and then we're just going to extend over here to our negative connection clip off the excess Again. All right, you guys, I'm back with you again. We had a little interruption here. I had a delivery guy show up and knock on the garage door, so I had to stop shooting. And it's going to throw my whole editing process out of whack here, so you might see some weird things, you guys, but I want to get the, uh, the point across to you. What I finished up doing here is I uh, installed all four of these yellow 5mm LEDs around the perimeter here to get our... Um, thruster ports working and that all turned out really good you saw how I did it there 
uh, what I did after that is I turned this on and I came back over and uh, checked everything. I'll just kind of show you how this looks. You can see, we'll turn this overhead light off. You can see in these little spots here, we've got our amber lights going on where they should be. And then on the sides, you can see that nice uh, rectangle shape there. Kind of turn these around and show them to you. So that one five millimeter LED is going to um, light up both the top and the bottom of our, our thruster ports here. So we don't have to worry about that. That's going to work out really good. Um, and so what happened here, you guys, is the part that I uh, lost in my editing here when we got the little interruption was what I went and did after that is I installed these, uh, I installed two more of the uh, the uh, yellow 5 millimeter, five millimeter LEDs again from HDA Model Works here for our impulse engines. And that's going to give us that kind of nice amber impulse engine effect that we talked about. And you can see what I did here is I glued down a piece of the uh, medium sized sprue that actually comes with the kit. You'll see that there's a couple different sizes here. This is the medium sized one. And uh, I put that down because what I wanted to do is I wanted to center my LEDs. If I would have glued the LEDs down flat on the floor or the top part of the saucer here, they would have been up way too high in the uh, inside the lenses that we can actually see in the back. Now one thing I want to point out too that's really important is that uh, if you recall when we installed this aftermarket impulse deck in the beginning, we uh, we put masks on the outside and the inside. So an important step you want to remember before you go any further is to go on the inside and remove the inner masks. That way we don't forget that later on when we seal the saucer up and all of our light will be completely blocked in there and that would not be good. So I pulled those out of there now. I left the outer ones in place. And then I glued these five millimeter uh, yellow LEDs on top of this little piece of sprue here, just uh, by eyeball lining them up, making sure they were aimed straight and they were both the equal distance apart. CA glued those in place uh, with my resistors and those will be setting off to the side now because those will connect up to a uh, control board a little bit later on. Okay, so that's all in place now too. Now in the next video, we're gonna come back and work on the impulse crystal and a couple other areas here. We've gotta light the bridge. I'm working on the spotlight effect and all that and you'll see that in the next video. Okay, so I just didn't want you to miss this little part right here and uh, hopefully you can get a good look at that. But it's pretty straightforward. As I said, I just glued this down first, then glued these two LEDs over the top of it. I did take a 180 grit sandpaper and I scuffed these LEDs up to give them some diffusion so they weren't quite you know, focused like they are and the light will spread out a little bit and that'll look really nice on our uh, impulse grills there in the back, okay? So what we're gonna do is move on now. The rest of the video has been saved. What you're gonna notice is that the wire is gonna be kind of messed up. What I did in between then is I went ahead and, and got all these um, loose wires all glued down, all except for these SMD leads. And in the next section here, you're going to see how these uh, SMDs were installed and, and where I put them and everything. So we'll move on with that. Uh, I'll secure those wires a little bit later once we get our control board in here. And that's going to connect up to that to control our blinking effect for our red and green navigation lights. Okay, so on with the rest of the video and you'll be all caught up. Okay, you guys, well, now we're going to be putting in our SMDs. I'm going to be able to put all these in except for the red one today for you guys. I just discovered I'm out of those. I use quite a quite a bit of those on a lot of these builds, but we'll get some more of those coming in. But you're going to get the basic principle here. Right now, I'm working with the green one. Now, an important uh, step I want to mention is, you guys, you want to always put these on your bench to your power supply and test these out as soon as you pull them out of the package because sometimes they do mispackage these things. And what you don't want to have happen is have this... Um, all the way glued and installed in place and then when you go to do your test lighting you find out it's the wrong color okay so you've wasted an SMD and then you have to dig it back out of there too so always do that little step I verified that this is a green one and that it's working properly so I'm just gonna be putting it in right in this little cubby hole here where the uh, where we opened these up earlier and you can see the um, the hole you know where it comes out on the top of the saucer so I'm just gonna be locating this directly over the top of it and holding it in place and I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of my CA I don't want a lot of CA to actually go into the hole for the lens itself I just want that to uh... we're gonna fill that in with solar res again later so it's just the lens, make sure it's facing upward and it's directly over that hole. Okay, we're good with that one. 
So the rest of these three are, are standard white. They're not warm white, they're regular white, 0805 SMDs again. I tested these to make sure that they're good to go. So we've got one here at the very front for the bow light on the top. I'm just making sure my lens, the actual lighting part of this is facing straight down and right over the top of that hole. Give that just a second. You definitely want to make sure it doesn't move on you guys. Make sure it's fully locked in. All right, looks like that dried nicely. Then we've got these two here at the back, right next to the impulse deck. And they're in a kind of a little different location here. They're kind of inboard of this little outer ring that we, that we had to do some work to. When we opened up that plastic in the very beginning, these, just, these are just right here on the inside of that wall. I'm just going to drop that right down in there. Bend your wires a little bit so it'll just drop right down in there for you. It's kind of a little recess that they sit in. All right, and we've got our final one here that's going to go on on our last spot here on the other side of the impulse crystal. And we're just going to repeat the same process again. Kind of bend the wires just a little bit so that that'll sit right down in there. With the lens just nice and flat right on top of that hole. That's what I'm going here for you guys. Just like that. Can't get, get that to sit. I want it to sit perfectly flat in there. Just a second. Okay, so there you have it, guys. We've uh, we've basically completed all of our. Um, perimeter lighting now we've still got to come back and I'm going to be doing that during the next video I'll uh, finish up at some point just off camera and just add that little extra red one over here on this side uh, basically the same procedure you just saw there but we're going to what we're going to do in the next video on this is we're going to be installing the impulse crystal up here at the top and the uh, LED that goes in there and then we've also got to do our uh, couple of small 0805 SMDs up in top of the bridge here one for a strobe light on the back of it and then we're going to do our uh, forward spotlight here and I'll show you what I'm working out on that. I'm using a wide angle flat LED lens for that which will give us a really nice floodlight effect. I've already done a little bit of testing on that and it's going to look really good. Okay you guys so we'll be back in the next episode. I'm going to be try I'm going to try to be putting these out for you guys every Thursday so that you guys can kind of get into a you know a, a schedule of when to ex expect the updates on this and uh, my whole schedule is clear here for months out now so we're good to go we can really start cranking this stuff out and i'll be having some updates on the nomad the big 72 inch enterprise and the d'agostini 4 gt in between everything else you guys so thanks for uh checking us out here really appreciate it thanks for all the new subscribers we'll be back next thursday with another update on this thing see you then you guys take care and happy modeling